at the end of the program, there is a uh, unity run. And after the unity run and the human chain formation, your banners and the posters that you have made will deposit it here so that it can be pinned over there. The cloth is uh, kept there for the purpose of pinning all these banners and uh, the posters that you have wrote. Thank you. I solemnly pledge, I solemnly pledge that, I will dedicate myself that I will dedicate myself to preserve the unity, to preserve the unity integrity, integrity, and security of the nation, and, of the nation, and also strive hard, and also strive hard to, spread this message to spread this message among my fellow countrymen. Among my fellow countrymen. I take, this pledge I take this pledge in the spirit of unification of my country, which was made possible by the vision and actions of the late Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. I also solemnly resolve, I also solemnly resolve to make my own contribution make my own contribution to ensure internal security. So when I say, why is this day special? I'll ask you to look at that huge banner to my left and to your right. It's the birth anniversary, as you were informed by Ma'am Archana also at the very outset. Birth anniversary being commemorated of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, and therefore 31st October, has become historic for all of us and rightly so the call given by CBSC to completely align ourselves with these historic moments is in fact going to be a real lifetime education for us. This day is being observed as you can see right at the back the banners and pledge that we had been administered, the oath that we had been administered by Mansuriti as Rashtriya Eka Divas. It's a celebration, observation of National Unity Day. You'll wonder why Sadat Vallabhai Patel was also called, he was given a title, and I'm sure you all know of that. He was called the Iron Man of India. You'll wonder why he was called the Iron Man. I know that. In New Age, there are a lot of fictional stories. The Iron Man of the Avengers. This was a real Iron Man. And what made him a real Iron Man was his fierce sense of nationalism. His passion for the country. 
his love for the Indian nation. He integrated the nation together and of course he put the nation before self. Such a simple thought that probably all of us, you and I, should put in our minds for all the times. Can we put self the last? And can we possibly put nation first and foremost? Dear children, we are here to remind ourselves of the components of unity. We know that we need to go beyond the diverse factors that make us so beautiful. We may be multilingual, we may be a multi-religious country, it, we, we, it, but the secular thought must prevail. We must rise would be futile if you decide, when you really commit and not just try, be committed, be persistent about things, when you really choose to take responsibility and not just hope that something would happen, that's the time when real miracles would happen and we want the entire world to look at India as a strongly united nation, a united nation, and I'm sure we can take pride in the fact that we have this inherent sense of unity in diversity. Dear children, bring about that change. Gandhi too said that you need to be the change yourself first. Right? So be the change you want to see around in the world and may our endeavors meet with success. God speed, God bless. Jai Hind. without any noise because this is the time when you have to prove and so the highest honor
move to my left side. Left side chairs. About the sense soldiers, boys and girls about the
भी एक दूसरे के हाथ पकड़ के खड़े होंगे
is the inward feeling of kindness received. Thankfulness is the natural impulse to express that feeling. Thanksgiving is following the impulse wholeheartedly. It is a privilege and a great joy for me to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all those who have contributed to make this occasion a success. Father John Ravi, the coordinator of this occasion, has been the driving force behind the whole process. His vision, interest, and hard work has culminated in another success story. My thank to Mr. Kunnus, who has made all the arrangements in the absence of Father Ravi. A big thank you to Mrs. Sunita Sharma, principal of MGD School, and Mrs. Krishna Bhati, principal of SMS School, for the pledge and the words of inspiration and enlightenment. Indian unity is in itself unique and splendid. As seven colors form a rainbow, as seven notes create a great symphony, as nectar from different flowers are united by the bees to create honey, as different rivers create a huge sangha, so the diverse factors, languages, traditions, religions create an integrated and united India. I also extend my thanks to all to the principal of Mahavir Public School and Saint Soldier Public School for the enormous cooperation to make this event a meaningful one. It requires planning and bird's eye for details. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of highly motivated and dedicated person. A special mention to all the Reverend Fathers and sisters, staff and students and the supportive staff of St. Xavier's to make this program a success. I am grateful to them for their untiring efforts. The essence of all beautiful art, all great art is gratitude. And as I extend my thanks to each and every pre person present here on this occasion, may we carry the feeling of unity in our hearts and in our actions forever, so that India may reach the zenith of success, peace, and prosperity. Thank you. Give them a big round of applause. All are requested to stand straight for the National Anthem. 